All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this maneuver right here, known as the Henry Comey, or as one redditor put it, the Cyclone Reverse. Um, but essentially what you need to do is use your S key, your elevator, when mouse and keyboard, and your Q key for your rudder. And you hold down the web, and right after you hold down the web, you hold the S and the Q button simultaneously until you finish your uh, twisted loop. Now, Hineri Komi means turning in, and it was a Japanese uh, dogfighting maneuver that they taught. And here I'm showing the maneuver again. But basically what you do is you use this when the enemy is coming in on your 6 o'clock or behind you. Um, and they're lining up on you, but they have superior speed or energy. Now I want to point out one thing. Previously that was uh, arcade battle footage. This is historical battle footage. So when you're in historical flight mode, you will not be able to do this. And this is the A6M3 Mod 22 that I'm testing it with. But the maneuver, while it does not work in historical with mouse and keyboard, it could work with a joystick. But in arcade, let's see a good example of uh, a, a good situation to use this maneuver. Um, generally, the enemy should have greater speed or energy, so they should be closing, closing the distance, and they should be close, you know, between 0.5 and 0.4 kilometers behind you. So right here, I saw this guy firing at me. I was not aware. I pulled the Henry Comey, and that changed me from the hunted to the hunter. So now this yak became my prey. Um, I was not able to get the kill in this because you're going to see some herpy deer arcade action right here. But essentially, it is a pretty good maneuver. I was trying to get a good example of when to show it. Um, and then all of a sudden, some guy was shooting at me. I whipped it right here using this plane, the A6M2, which seemed to do rather well in this maneuver compared to some of the other Japanese aircraft I test. Because uh, I found out about this maneuver on a Reddit post. Um, a guy by the name of Tom Collins, or Wolf of the North, put out this, and he termed it the Cyclone Reverse and how to do it. So I want to give a big shout out to him, and I will have the link to that Reddit post in the uh, description. Um, and then a guy by the name of Protohuman um, put on that same Reddit post uh, an excerpt of a book, which was called Sunburst, Rise of Japanese Naval Air Power. Um, and here you can see me testing with the A5M. And through that article, I read a little more about it and how the Japanese developed it and it worked very well against early you know kinda green American pilots at the beginning of World War II but uh, so yeah big shout out to Proto Human as well now here's the D3A1 Val dive bomber now I tested it with this because I figured if the A5M could work you know why not and with the D3A1 this was the uh, standard dive bomber in the Japanese Navy. So you're going to be seeing it a lot once the naval component of War Thunder comes out. Now say you're being pursued and you want to dive bomb this carrier. Well, you can't really use your rear gunner because that pulls you up. So you'll be no longer able to dive on the carrier. Your approach will be dropped. So if it was a Corsair or something like that that was closing speed on you rapidly, you pull that maneuver, he goes past, you could even shoot at him, and you're able to proceed to your target. So when dive bombing, I think um, this could be viable, although right here, maybe in historical battles, if you're using a joystick, um, I'm not really sure about the G-forces, but I could test that later. And I also decided to test two other nation's aircraft. Here we have the Spitfire Mark IV. But I just kind of want to encourage you to do two things. The first of which is to get involved with the War Thunder forums as well as the War Thunder Reddit uh, subreddit community. There's, I believe, 5,000 plus uh, War Thunder Redditors. And it's a pretty good community. Daily activity, lots of good stuff. I learned about this maneuver, for one. And here's me trying to do it in a Kitty Hawk, which. He's struggling a bit, but yeah, get involved with that. And the second thing is to let me know which maneuvers you want me to check out and show you how to do. 
And also, if you've tested out the Hanari Komi with other aircraft, let me know which ones you were able to pull it off with. Thanks, guys. I'm Baron and I'm out. Baron. Chuck the 90. Got it. There's a ton or of I mean, I there. Took one out. Got my wing yeah. red. I killed that P39, um, apparently. Oh, you did? Yeah, he finally crashed. He was, he was fully critical. I was waiting Any for Any LA-5 that was on that guy. Baron, or uh, Intec, LA-5 is kind of close to you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was uh, engaging with him. Just trying to stay out of uh, anybody's path. LA-5 coming in on Whoa, Studley. Whoa, Studley, dude. Aces. 